Events are weaving together quickly now, Rook. For good or ill, the fate of the world shall be decided soon. I received Harding's missive. Your plan is sound. So the Inquisitor's in? Indeed, although she requires a few days to set events in motion. Time is needed to allot her responsibilities to those who are capable of managing them. Once settled, she has pledged herself to your cause. The snake's head must be severed, else the body simply grows anew. And what of your other allies? Will they also be ready? There is no room left for doubt or hesitation. They've been ready for every fight before. I trust they'll be prepared. As they must be. There will not be another opportunity to foil the schemes of Elganarn and Gilanane. If we fail in this, they gain all that is needed to reshape the world in their twisted image. The evil put into place with the aid of their Antum servants at Tearstone will cover the entire world. Look, the gods can't blight the world without their dagger. And they can't finish their dagger until the Eclipse, which isn't for another... Elgernon. While you gather your people, I will find the Inquisitor. And Rook, I wish you great luck. Elgernon just caused an eclipse. The gods can finish their dagger. We need to move now. But we were supposed to have weeks to prepare. How much time do we actually have? It's not weeks, I can tell you that much. The eclipse is slowly forcing an alignment between the stars and powerful currents in the Fade. Which means what? I'm afraid we've only a few hours until the gods complete their dagger. The gods were way too quiet after Arlethan. I should have known something was wrong. No one could have anticipated this escalation. Doesn't matter now. We're stuck with it. What will we be facing on the island? There's gonna be blight crap. And where there's blight, dark spawn. Right. Tearstone Island's also crawling with the entire Antom army. They've had time to prepare. It'll be brutal. So will the gods. We're walking right into their lair. We may not all make it out again. We're the only thing standing between every single living creature and the Blight. I don't want to watch the world fall. No, I didn't do everything I could. So let's stop the gods. Whatever it takes. We're with you. The gods won't leave that island. No matter what. No matter what. Then we leave as soon as we can.
Mukanis. I should see how he's doing before we leave. How are the knives coming? Rook, this isn't going to work. We're going to make it work. They move the moon. We're in over our heads. That's not magic you can fight with a blade. You're putting your life in our hands. My hands. All I know is death. I know we'll get through this. Optimism is your best and worst quality. If I have to kill every blighted creature in Thedas to keep you safe, I will. Two blighted creatures will be enough. The most dangerous too. And when they're gone, the rest will be easy. You'll see. What would I do without you? Don't tempt fate. I don't intend to. If all the gods have to die for you, it is a small price to pay. I'll meet you at the Eluvian. Business as usual. Everything's fine. Definitely not thinking about that all day. I should talk with Varric too. Get any last advice for killing a god. Hey, Asan. Varric, I hope I'm not interrupting whatever you're doing. Take a deep breath. The gods changed all the rules. We're going in blind. The whole team is pretty sure we're gonna die. And they might be right. Weird shit is happening. Of course the team's on edge. It's not a personal failing for you to be scared either. I don't know how to carry this weight, Varric. No one does. This job was always going to call for someone who could improvise. You're on this team for a reason too, you know. I guess I have some thinking to do. About... everything. Go on. You know where to find me if you need me. <laughs> well, let's not keep the gods waiting.
It's fortunate we weren't spotted coming in. A lot of dreadnoughts. One shot is all it takes. Now we just have to deal with that. Morgan didn't exaggerate. That's the entire Antom army over there. Armies are big and clumsy. We can do this. Agreed. If we move quick enough. The gods will know we're here soon. And so will the Antom. We need a distraction. One team to draw off that army, and another to stop the gods from finishing their dagger. I'll take half the team and cause some trouble down by the Antom ships. Wait, I'm the scout. I can get us around this place faster. There'll be Blight farther up, Harding. And Darkspawn. I've fought them before. And I've got the stone on my side. Lace? Hold on. Someone has to do this, Tosh. So who will it be? Davern's right. We need a Grey Warden and a Griffin in the lead. Won't let you down. Either of us. I'll take the rest of us, and get to the gods before they finish their dagger and cut open the Fade. Once we're in place, Lucanus will take Solus's dagger and ambush Gilanane. Elgernon's pet. One problem at a time. As long as he has that archdemon, he's invulnerable. Concentrate on Gilanane first. We kill her, take the god's dagger, then deal with Elgernon. Good luck, Rook. Let's make some history. Good luck, and thanks. Deverin. Just like you said in the lighthouse, Rook. We stop the gods. Whatever it takes. Quickest path ahead, but we might reach the gods before we're spotted. are making the dagger. Rook, the veil is weakening here. I can feel it. Well, so much for that. Take them out fast. Strong and pure and crap. The Antom aren't taking any chances.
Sounds like a lot more on Tom across the bay. What is all that? Something something Gillinane's blood, something something pure and unstoppable, the usual one. Found the on Tom. I hope they're all right. I just heard Elgernon. He said my name. Who told him my name? Come <laughs> on. 
cutting this awfully close, Rook. Everything will be all right. I've got you, don't I? You do. What did this place used to be? Spite says he smells old blood. It's those mercenaries again. We can't let them slow us down. We're gonna be taking fire. Stay in cover. Gods finish their dagger, open the fate, and unleash all the blight. Even Solus was terrified of that. He has some sense, at least. to where the gods are making their dagger. Spite demon and its host. 
and one new fear, the fire breather. There are others, find them, bring us what remains. My foot's gonna bring your ass what remains. We have to hurry. The Antem will be looking everywhere after hearing that. There's Davrin! Rook, over here! Davrin, you alright? For now. We burned some Antom ships, led them off. But there's another wave coming. Can you open the way out of here? Sure thing. Let me take a look. I would have of you, Rook. Draw closer, and you will learn what they are. Elgernon again. Pars block! Vashvatar! Light on this side. And on top.
Did you see that flash of green light? That's Terra and the Fade. A Fade Terra? Don't tell me the gods are that close. Gods might be close, but they'd be gloating if they'd finished their dagger. If we kill Gilanane and steal that dagger, then Algernon can't unleash the Blight. Blocking the way. We have to set it off. I'm coming your way. We can't hold them forever. Do what you can. Meet us inside that building ahead. More blight. We've got to clear it out to get to the gods. <laughs> Only for you. More of those fade tears. Remember to keep your distance. Another fade tear. Oceans of magic are coursing around us because of the gods' ritual. Then we'd better find Gilanane. Quickly. Wait, wait, wait. There are wards blocking the way out. Blood magic. One touch could kill. How do we get through? Ideas? 
patterns are familiar. If I can fracture the harmonics, we could get through. Maybe. I deal with blood magic. I can stop the damage long enough to burn out the wards. That's risky, Nev. Really risky. I can't ask you to do that. Your way is just as dangerous. Don't like it, but one of us has to do it. This is your territory, Ballara. Just go slow. I'll be careful. I'll keep this fade tear in check while you work, but with things so unpredictable, I fear anything might happen once we kill Gilanane. Solus warned me that there'd always be costs and consequences to fighting gods. But if we kill Gilanane, snatch the god's dagger, and escape, maybe we prove him wrong. I dearly hope so. Great work. Thanks. Uh, be careful. The gods might know we're here now. That is a certainty. <laughs> the Elvin are a scattered people, but fret not. I shall bring your mage gently back into our fold. You can all be forgiven by embracing the wisdom of surrender. Continue, and even the dread wolf will regret what I do to his pawn. Come on! Elgernon and Gillanine are still on the island. If we move fast, we might get Ballara back. Damn it! Hold on, Bell! The gods know we're coming, but they still need to finish their dagger. Then we should split their attention. Right. Half the team comes with me on the main path. Davrin, you and the others stay out of sight and get Lucanus to the ritual. Then after he kills Gilanane, we rescue Ballara. All this magic, it feels like a storm. Which means Elganard's almost completed the dagger. Where's Gilanane? On the move. Spike can feel her hunting for us. We didn't come this far for nothing. Everything the gods have thrown at us, it's all because they know we can win. We'll kill Gilanane, we'll get our friend back, and then... Then we kill Elkanon. We'll distract Gilanane until Lucanus gets a clear shot. Good luck, Davrin. Like I promised, whatever it takes. It's all yours. As is Gilanane. Can't be natural. Gillanane's hiding. I hear Nark spawn.
I see her. Not soon enough, Grey Warden. Don't let her get. Catherine! He hears you not. Transgressions, little book. You face a god alone. 
the blight. Use it to rebuild the old glories. You've done naught but destroy them. You and Elgernon are trapped by the past, just like Solas. You had your chance, each one of you. We don't owe you a thing! Your victory. You live. Gelanane does not. Are you not proud to finally reach this moment? Or did you think you'd win the day without some painful sacrifice? <laughs> friends stood against the gods. Your courage is laudable. Solace. But mortals cannot win this battle. I am sorry it is what must be. I saved you, Rook. 
What was the point? You were never up to it. You're worthless. Varric never believed you were not believed. You failed us all. What failure cuts your conscience now, I wonder? Laura! Your friend is dead. Dead and gone. It was your fault. Your fault. Regret, like all emotions, is a powerful thing. It can bruise us, break us, or blind us to the truth. Regret is even strong enough to serve as the lock on a prison built to hold gods. But such a prison can hold any captive. Even you. No! You were never ready to make the sacrifices that leadership requires. So through our connection, I molded you into someone the prison would accept in my place. Eric? Your work is done. This is where we talked when I was dreaming. But I'm not dreaming. some way out of here. Just have to find it. I have to get back to the team. A wolf statue, of course. How did Solus get out of here? Solus swapped places with me, but there's more to it than that. tried to mold me into something like him. But I'm not him. Need to find my own way out.
feels like this place is taunting me. I need to get out of here. I can't waste time being stuck. Find out if Lucanus is... No, he was just knocked out. He can't be dead. I have to get out. Hey, kid. Come on. Soul has found a way out. Now you need to find yours. Varric? He's not here. Of course he's not. So how do I get out? Chests open. That doesn't help me get out. Solus said this prison was built to hold gods. Built to hold gods. And locked with regret. He said that too. Galara? Rook. I wanted the elves to have a future that was all their own. I'll never see that now. I'm sorry to make you sad, but I told you the enchantments were dangerous. You chose me anyway. to die. You're right. You're my friend, Blara. But we had to get those wards down. I made a choice. I live with the choices I make. The successes and the failures. We all believed in what we were fighting for. What we're still fighting for. And Bellara knew what it might cost. She did, kid. We all did. Because you always chose the hard truth over the easy lie. Solus, on the other hand. Everyone's a pawn to someone like Solus. Pieces to sacrifice, without a second thought. Daphrin. told us. And you live that every day. You helped me rescue the Griffins. Got him to Arlethan. asked a lot of us, the team, but you asked even more of yourself. And after everything you've done, it was my turn to make the sacrifice, and I'd do it again. I'm going to miss you, Davrin. 
We fought together. Bled together. And any time I needed you, you were there. But now you're gone. And the fight's not over. So I promise you this. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to stop Elgernon. And I'm going to stop Solas. I'll save the world, Davrin. And make sure your sacrifice was worth it. Great job, kid. Now, what about mine? Anyone can get through to him. You can. Thanks, Rook. Whatever else he is, he's my friend. And if he won't listen to me, then he'll hear from Bianca. You need to listen! You can't be dead, Varric. You've helped me so much. Tell me what to do when I didn't know. We wouldn't have gotten this far without you. But you did, Rook. You did all of this without me. Because... you died. Yeah. Sorry about that, kid. I failed you, Varric. How do you figure? If I'd been faster, or had a different plan, a better one. Ah, bullshit. Haven't you learned anything from this place? I made the choice. To talk to him, to try to reach him. Even knowing the risks. Because he was my friend. My decision, my sacrifice. And you don't get to take that from me. But... Every story's got an ending. This one just... came a little earlier than I'd planned. How am I supposed to lead this team? 
I need you, Varric. I can't do this alone. What do you think you've been doing all this time? You're the leader they need, Rook. And you're not alone. Time to finish this story. Your story. I just know the ending's going to be killer. What happens now? To you. I'll disappear. Go back to just being a memory. Right. Hey, don't get all misty-eyed on me, okay? I had a good run, and I don't regret a second of it. What about Solus? You talked to Mythal. You saw the memories. Solus wants to be a hero. That's who he is, deep down. But it's easier for him to play the villain. Because that means he didn't fail. All the damage he's done, the people he's hurt, it becomes a choice. Remind him who he really is. He might just listen. So how do I get out of here? Listen to your team. Like you always do. This way. It's thinner here. Better be right. They're waiting for you. Just take it one step at a time. Goodbye, Varric. And thank you. Rook! Looking forward to seeing how it turns out. I'd say good luck, but you don't need it. You already have everything you need. There! A light! We've got something. Get ready. I am Elganon, first of the firstborn, last of the Evanuris. Come to reign over you with fine and gentle hand. Citizens of Minrathus, give yourself to me. Together, we shall unleash magic so glorious, so limitless, that all the world will be transformed. He seized control of the Archon's palace? While the Magisterium was in full session, only the Venatori seemed to have survived. How are the Shadow Dragons? Still fighting, last we heard. But Elgernon's blighted the city, and the Venatori have sealed the gates. No one can get in or out. Even the city's Alluvians went dark. We've got no way to contact the Shadow Dragons. They'd be dead already if not for Solus. Solus? He got to Minrathis just before the gates were sealed. He saved some civilians and killed some Venatori. Now, everyone's following Solus. Like he's the only one who can save them. He'll save them from the Blight or die trying. He's not lying about that. Though I doubt anyone rallying to the Dreadwolf's banner knows that he plans to drown the world in demons once Elgernon's dead. He can't hurt Elgernon yet. That archdemon makes him invulnerable. So Solus has to kill it first. And once that's done, Solus goes for Elgernon with the dagger he took from us. That's why we need to get to Solus first. 
He's not going to be happy when he sees you've escaped from his trap. That's his problem. He's got the dagger, and the dagger is the only thing that can kill Elgernon. We need to get it back. We did attempt to create a dagger to replace the one Solus took. Nice to look at, but it can't cut through enchantments like the real thing. So it cannot kill Elgernon. Looks real enough. But it is not. We don't have the right weapon to take down our target, and we lost too much killing Gilanane. We have no idea where Bellara is, or what Elgernon is doing to her. And Avron and Asan are... I know I'm not the only one who didn't make it off that island. We lost Bellara. We lost Davrin. So let's remember them. Remember what they sacrificed. And let's honor them by finishing the job. Get a message to anyone who's still out there. Tell them we're gonna stop Elgernon and we need their help to do it. Then fix up your gear and take care of any unfinished business. In the morning, we take back Minrathus. Rook, are you all right? No, but I will be. We can contact our allies, Rook. You should rest. After all you've been through, I'll come by your room soon to see how you're doing. After we've dealt with Elganon, we must search for Bellara. I'll not leave that poor girl wherever that monster jailed her. No news on what's happened to her? No. I'd attempt scrying, but the Fade is in an uproar. If we can find her, we will. Keep expecting Davron to challenge me to push-ups or something. Or Hassan to come and ask for a treat. Yeah. Those figures he carved? I'll get one of the lords to make more. And print his book. He'd want people to learn to kill monsters. And you were right. He'd also want us to finish the job. So just say the word. I'm ready to find out how to make Elgernon burn. It's been days, but I still expect Bell to burst in here with a question or theory to share. Varric gone, Bellara taken, Minrathus. We were never getting out of this unscathed, but every hit hurts.
It feels so different without Davrin. I can't believe he's just... gone. We don't talk about it much, but everyone knows it. We wouldn't be here if Davrin hadn't stepped up. He was a hero. We won't forget it. Right. We can see it through. The rest of us. We'll fight. We'll win. I cannot believe we found you. I'm a little surprised too, honestly. I thought I'd never see you again. I can't believe so much happened. I don't know how to feel. I do. I know exactly how to feel. Just don't leave. Never. Are you falling asleep? No. I never sleep. It's all right if you do. Spite and I can play cards or something. Don't say that. I haven't taught him wicked grace yet. I'm not afraid of him. I just don't want to waste time now that you're here. <laughs> you still have to sleep sometimes. With you here? Like this? I'd rather stay awake. You won't miss anything. I'm not going anywhere. I promise. I'll hold you to that. Please do. Rook, tomorrow... Whatever happens, we'll take it on together. We can handle whatever comes next. All I have to do is kill a god to keep you out of trouble. Easy.
Katerina sent me a vintage bottle of port to mark my ascension as first talon. I plan to share it with Davron, with Hassan at our feet. I'll miss them too. We will have to settle for stopping Elgernon and carving Davrin's name into his blighted heart. You sound a bit like... Spite? Perhaps. I thought I'd lost you, Rook. All I had left was the fight. I'm here. For you. Then that is all I need. Despite the cost, Gilanane is dead. We should still count it a victory. I was worried you'd been caught in the backlash. Or... You're okay? I'm well. Though that was no ordinary death blow. I assure you that striking down a god is not something any killer can mistake. That is worth remembering, given we still have two gods to destroy. Now comes the fight for those we can still save. Thank you all for coming. If we don't stop Elgernon today, our world is either dead or blighted. So we keep fighting until the job is done. It's gonna be hard. There's no guarantee any of us will make it. We're with you, Rook. Elgernon dies today. Whatever it takes. Strife. News? Our scouts confirm Elgernon is inside the Archon's palace. There's a giant tendril of blight tethering it to the Divine's Manor in Hightown. Then that's our goal. Breach the city walls and get to that tendril. Emmerich, can we count on Mornwatch support? The Watchers, living and otherwise, will stand with us. Every remaining Grey Warden will be there too. The Antivan crews are ready to pay their respects. And the Lords of Fortune will be there, for gold and glory. As will the Veil Jumpers. Someone's got to keep you out of trouble. Solis is our first target. Without his dagger, we can't kill Elgernon. Our scouts last spotted him working with the Shadow Dragons in the western section of Hightown. Okay, we go in through Hightown. How? Minrathus was built to fight off an army, even before Elgonam reinforced the defenses. Every gate will be guarded. Worse than that. Our scouts reported that the Venatori sealed all the gates with those damn boarding crystals. Can the Veil Jumpers disable them? Venatori magic? Won't be a problem. It's still likely to take time. You may need assistance or someone to protect you while you unravel the wards. Nev. I want you helping the Veil Jumpers. You've got it. The Venatori at that gate will be commanded by a war mage. That's how they usually operate. If we get rid of the commander, the rest of the Venatori will scatter. Can the crows cut the head off the snake? Contract accepted. There's gonna be a lot of guards between you and her. The lords can clear you a path. And one of us should be there as well.
Lucanus, how'd you like to kill a Venatory mage? It would be my pleasure. One last thing might give the crows some trouble. There's a massive construct tall enough to crush buildings. It's guarding the main gate. A juggernaut. Giant siege constructs built to withstand the Antarm. Or anyone else who came calling. We're gonna need our heaviest forces against that juggernaut. Evka? The Grey Wardens have fought ogres and archdemons. We can handle this. The Morn Watch will lend aid, but against something as large as this juggernaut, we'll require further assistance. Rook? Tosh, you're with the Wardens. Right. Emmerich. Harding. You're with me. We make a run at the gate. Get inside and find Solus. The rest of you, get to the Blight Tendril. Once we've got the dagger, we'll meet you there. And take the fight to Elgernon. I believe in this team. In all of us. So let's get it done. We go on my signal.
It was close at the gate, but we're getting through. They fought hard to get us inside. It falls to us to carry on. Let's find Solus. Apparently, he was helping the Shadow Dragons. If we locate the Shadow Dragons, we'll soon find Solus. Our Lady of Victory. That's the name of the statue, right? She's seen better days. Get ready, more Dark Spawn! Accompanied by Venatori! Even of Virantium. At your service. They and I will return to the Crows and help with the fight through the city. You go after Solas. We spotted him. He's not far ahead. That way, quickly. All right. Taya said Solas should be up ahead. Let's find him. He 
This is an astounding amount of blood. I heard Solus was helping the Shadow Dragons. It'd be even worse without him. so damn hard. Tarquin! Viper! You're alive! Thanks to Solus. He's been the only thing between us and Elganon. Stay with them. I'm going to talk to Solus. Surprising as ever. Even I could not have escaped that prison. For you to manage it. Varric believed in me when nobody else did. He was a good man. He was always there for me. Except that he wasn't. Because you killed him. What happened at the ritual site? I know what happened. I remember the truth now. You did something to my mind to make me keep seeing him. Yes. I was wrong to do so. You knew Varric was dead the whole time. But you kept pushing me not to see it. Why? How? I was desperate. Unless I escaped, the world would fall to tyranny and blight. The only tool I had was my tenuous connection to you. Blood magic. As I said, I was wrong. You know what the worst part is? Part of me was excited about proving myself to the Dread Wolf. Rook. That's how you do it, right? You get people so eager for those little scraps of approval that they never see the knife coming. I... am sorry. I betrayed you because I believed that only I could save this world. But I have failed, Rook. I have not stopped Elganon. I have not even defeated his Archdemon. The victories that have been won since Elganon and Gilanane escaped are yours, not mine. If we are to save this world, we must work together. I wish I could believe you, Solas. I know I have earned your skepticism. But do you not believe that I wish to see the world free from Elganon's rule? I do. But then what? As soon as Elganon is dead, you finish your ritual and drown us all in demons. If joining me and stopping Elganon requires the Veil to stay in place, 
then I will pay that price unflinching. I swear by my own foolish pride, by love for friends I failed and hurt, by everything I ever held as sacred. I will leave the veil untroubled. It will never come down by my hand. Now, if you will come with me, I can show you what has prevented me from reaching Elganan. And you can tell me your plan. We were trying to get to the Divine's Manor in the center of the city. And the Blight Tendril connecting to the Archon's Palace. Yes, I thought the same. But some intelligence guides the Tendrils. It has prevented me from getting closer. You said you wished you could trust me. If you accompany me, you will see why this threat is worth us putting us... There's a large force arrayed against us ahead. Let us see if they've heard the legends of the Dreadwolf. Be gone, Darkspawn! their strengths to make them yours. And that is why you are going to defeat him. The Imperium commands!
Ganon has sent to direct the Blight. We are not far from it. Beyond the Blight there, perhaps. reacts to my presence. There. That must be the source of whatever intelligence guides it. If you can destroy the mind guiding the Blight, we may be able to reach the palace. I can accompany you no further. My presence will only draw the Blight to you. Final blow must be yours. I can think of no one better to wield this. I thought I'd have to fight you for that dagger. Then this has been a day of surprises for us both. Good luck! When next we meet, let us be standing over Elganon's body! All right, Solus takes down the Archdemon. That makes Elgern on mortal, then we kill him with the Lyrium Dagger. But first, we must find a way to free Valar.
You are not my god! Get out of my head! Rook? He was... He was all I could hear. It was my mind, but he made me want to help him. It's okay. You're free now. You're safe. None of us are safe. Once Elgernon is dead... Wait! You can't kill Elgernon yet. If you do... Watch out! First giant monster. Apologies for missing the War Council. We got inside the city with the Veil Jumpers. It gave us a chance to finally strike back at the Venatori. Whatever you did unblocked entrances to the Divine's Manor. It also destroyed some of the Blight. It'll come back. I can still feel it. I don't think I'm the only mage he used like this. Valara, you're alive. Rook freed me, but I learned things when I was in that blight eruption. We need to talk. We will. But first we need to get you to a healer. We'll take care of her. Thanks. I'll join you in a bit. Just want to check on everyone else coming in. <coughs> While we still have time. <coughs> Elgernon and the Venatori have destroyed my city. This is our final chance to take it back. We will win, Rook, or die trying. Even gods may die. We have every confidence in your plan. Those who fell in our fight lie in the next room. They will be taken to grave or pyre once our battle has ended, as their beliefs dictate. For now, they wait, and we attend them. If you wish to pay your respects, please enter.
your dance. Is that a furrow on your troubled brow? You like my furrow. Call it the thinking man's dimple. Not in public, I don't. Rook, the Venatori brought death to Minratus. We've made many of them pay, but they still owe us a balance. You take care of Elgarnan. We'll keep after his remaining followers on the ground. Minrathus, all of Thedas, will remember the crows on this day. Let's see this done. Fighting through a city run by Venatori. It's what Reviso could have been, but worse. <laughs> Was that suitably self-absorbed? Go win again, Rook. Got some civilian. Hate to admit it, but Solus really came through for us. Now it's just Elgonon we have to deal with. Good luck. We'll keep watch on the city down here. It's been years since I fought in a battle like this. The Crows defeated the Venatori at the gates thanks to you and the Lords. The pleasure was all mine. I got to dust off the daggers for good people. Rest up while you can. You'll need it. Stop worrying. This is dangerous magic. But we've dealt with that before. You're a veil jumper. You'll find the way through it. The Archdeep. Rook, it's been a hard fight to get here. And against stranger foes than we imagined. It's almost the end now. We have this, Hook. I know it. He was in my head the whole time. It was like I wanted to help him. Mierda. I'm sorry. He's filled with the blight, and I think I am too. Rook. The gods have taken too many people from us already. Maybe the Wardens can help you, Bellara. But even if they can't, I promise you that Elgernon will die. No, you can't. That's what I needed to tell you. When Elgernon was in my mind, I was kind of in his too. I could feel him. His mind, his magic, his life force. It's tied to the Veil. His life is the only thing holding the Veil in place. I felt the veil weaken when Gilanane fell. I expect that when Solus imprisoned the other gods, he bound them all thus. And now that Elganon is the only one left... If we kill him, the veil collapses. Which is why Solus gave me the dagger. Damn it! He said something about this in that memory of him binding the gods. I thought he was just stealing their magic. I didn't realize he meant it literally. We still have to kill Elgernon. So what can we do? Can we tie the veil to something else to keep it in place? For an enchantment like that, we'll need a specific substitute. The veil was made to be tied to the ancient elven gods. Then let's tie it to Solus. He's the only elven god left. Binding him will require drawing his blood with a lyrium dagger. And I doubt he's going to like the idea. Cutting him to bind him to the veil. That's blood magic. We do it if we have to, but only if we have to. What about this? The dagger we made while you were in the Fade. Once Elgernon is dead, odds are good that Solus will need to do something else to complete his ritual. This dagger looks identical, but it can't cut through enchantments like the real thing. So if he tries to use it... The backlash of such magic would render him helpless. Unless he notices. 
You really want to try a bait and switch on the Dreadwolf? Is there any chance, any chance at all, that he would listen to reason? Did he listen to you when you spoke with him years ago, Inquisitor? Varric died trying to reason with him. As did Mithal when Solus took her power. But we have you, Morgan. You have Mithal's memories. And we have the essence of the other fragment of Mithal, from the crossroads. Such power, even fragmented, is not to be taken lightly. Hold it for now. And when the time comes, if you believe the Dreadwolf's heart can be turned from this course, I shall try. Because of everyone here, and everyone we lost to get here, we've got options for dealing with Solus. For now, let's focus on Elgernon. He's in the palace above us. We'll climb the Blight Tendril to get there. Once Solus takes down the Archdemon and renders Elgernon mortal, we hit him with everything we've got. Damn right we do. Time's running short. Stock up on supplies, pay your respects, and say goodbye to the people you love. Be ready to go when I signal. Get out there, and do what you do best. You've got this. We didn't lose anybody. We hit the city that the Antom couldn't conquer and got out clean. We've even got Ballara back. We're gaining people. I'm ready to fight as long as our luck holds out. Thanks for keeping Harding safe. She takes risks when she gets mad. Harding takes risks when she gets mad? She's itching to take a shot at Elgernon. And probably Solus. You're a big reason we got this far, Tosh. <laughs> Just point me at the dragons. Hey, listen. You helped me figure out who I was. I'm not the Canari my mother would have wanted. I don't say all the words right, but... Maybe she'd be proud of me anyway. Chakra to Ebra, Tosh. I know she would. I'm a better person because of you. So, thanks. Now let's go kick some ass. Oh, it is purest relief to see us all gathered safe and sound. We reunited with Bellara. What that poor girl has been through, and she's still returned to the fray. Elgernon must fear what we might accomplish once we storm his tower. We've already killed an archdemon and a god. We can do it again. While Elgernon's magic is fearsome, Solus is our true adversary. He is, however, a former spirit. As such, Solus cannot help but listen to appeals to his nature, his yearning for reflection. I could try talking him down, once I find him. The spirits whisper. One way or another, I believe the Dread Wolf's tale draws to its conclusion. It has been a grand privilege, Rook, to have come so far and known all of you. What luck that the distinguished Professor Volcaran joined our cause after we found him in the Necropolis. Feels as if that were years ago. Time passes swiftly in good company. Onwards, Rook. The gods await. How are you feeling, Ballara? Everyone filled me in, told me about everything that happened since I've been gone. It, it's a lot. I knew Elgrenon was doing something. I could feel it through the blight. I just didn't know how big it was, how awful it was. But most everyone's still alive, still fighting. That's more than I could have hoped for, more than I expected. So, um, okay, I think. This could have gone a lot worse. 
I'm glad it didn't. You're finding the way through. The twisty path. And the blight? How's it feeling? Like it's tying itself around me. It's in my blood. In my head. I feel it whispering to me. But it doesn't get to decide how my story goes. Even if it's only got a few chapters left. Let's make the most of each one of them and give it the happiest ending we can manage. Varric liked to say everything was a story. Helped him make sense of all of it. I always wanted to meet him. He sounded smart and kind. Yeah, he was. Rook, thank you. For what? For helping me put the ghosts of the past to rest. Now let's go kill a god. Nev, how are you holding up? I've seen reports from the city. The lost... But more are still standing than I might have bet on. Every person who gets through this is a win. We're doing as well as can be expected. Just have to keep it up. We can't get overconfident. There's more on your mind. This started with Solus. It will end there, too. He played mind games with you, targeted emotions, then went right for the heart. People with power, sometimes it's best not to play their games. Other times you need to play them smarter. However this plays out, I'm ready. Minrathus has gone through enough. So have I. So much has happened. But we wouldn't be standing here without you. Sure you would. Though the group would lack a certain charm. When this is done, I'm not sure where I'll land or what it will look like. We've been through a lot on this one. But if you need a detective, you've got me on your case. Thanks, Nev. Anytime. Go finish this. Rook, stand firm and watch Lace Harding's back. I'm helping the Shadow Dragons with supplies while they're shorthanded. Go on, pick out something nice. Enjoy the view up there. Of course Solus lied to us. Again. I expect it, and yet I'm surprised every time. But we're chipping away at Elgernon's forces. I thought that was impossible. He commands armies, and he's a god. Or really close to one, anyway. We even got Bulara back. I keep thinking, something has to go wrong somewhere, right? We know what we're up against. We came prepared. Everyone came together for one purpose. That will carry us through. Before this ends, in case things don't work out, I want you to know that I'm grateful for you. You believed in me. When I couldn't, and you helped me see the strength I always had. Just one final push to the palace. We're so close, Rook. 
For Varric. For all that he meant to us. I'm ready. Let's finish this. Lucanus, everything all right? We have made it here and fared well in the fight. Now we only have to wait. But Spike grows impatient. As do I. This may be the calm before a final storm, but I don't feel it. If there's anything I can do... Your presence has already helped. It won't be much longer. Elgernon's life is measured in hours. As for Solas, he used blood magic against you. He betrayed us. He pulled you into that prison. I leave his fate to you, but I will not let him hurt you. Lucanus. Whatever happens, my contract was for the Blighted Gods. Today it is fulfilled. If I'd never gone to the Crows, if I'd never found you... I'm just so grateful I did. As am I. More than I've ever told you. Rook, saying I owe you my life is not enough. You know my mind. I've assumed you know my heart because it beats for you. It's been beating. When I wanted you, when I was afraid to want you, tell me this ends with me asleep in your arms and I will kill any god you ask. Lucanus. I... I love you, Rook. And I won't let you down. Get out there, and do what you do best. A word, Rook? Any last advice from Mithal? Tis a difficult battle you face, but you are among more allies than you know. You have purified the crossroads, uncovered ancient truths lost for ages, and earned the essence of Mithal. You are truly the champion of the Fade. Take this. Should your fight against Elganon grow desperate, Invoke the memories of the Dreadwolf's rebels. For you, they will stand against tyranny one last time. Bad news, everyone. Elganon's forces are gathering outside. They mean to prevent you from reaching their master. 
Our people will set up barricades, and we'll hold the enemy as long as we can. You need to start climbing. One of us should help. I'm going up there. I owe Elkernon for what he did. You go to face a god, Rook, but any aid you might spare would be welcomed. Harding, may your aim be true. You can count on me. We'll be cheering for you, Rook. All my best.
Sorry, Solus has taken the Archdemon. I know you wanted to fight a dragon. I'll get over it. We still get to kill a god. Watch yourself! The throne room. Knowing Elgernon, we'll find him there. Rook, you made it. Elgernon's using the Magisters to control the Blight, just like he used me. They're directing all of it at Solus. He won't make it without our help. How do you know? I can still feel it. Hear it. The Blight? I'll help Solus. Just get to the throne room. Everybody ready? I'm at your side. Through it. Let's knock this fake elven god on his fake elven ass.
thinking you can hide from your creator. And I am this world's creator. And everywhere else you've left your mark. I didn't see any glory. All I saw was a tyrant destroying everything he touches. <laughs> you mistake discipline for cruelty. A failing among those who lack a master's gentle guidance. We only destroyed because you resisted. In the new empire, every child would have blossomed under my protection. And Gilanane, my brilliant sister, would have forged the Blight into a tool of beauty. But she is dead. And all we have is this. Because of you.
You failed to save the Wardens at Weishaupt. You fled in terror at Arlathan. And then we killed Gillanane. You have nothing! No army, no dragon, no thralls! I've got a team, and that's all I need. I have bound the souls of dragons! I have slain titans and broken the will of gods! You haven't broken me! Enjoy it while it lasts. If you will not bow, you will burn. Desire! 
is done. The world owes you a debt, both for defeating Elganon and for bringing down the Veil. I am sorry for this final betrayal, but I will do what I can to minimize the damage. When you see the old world restored... Please, Rook. I do not wish to fight against you. I don't want to fight you either. But I don't want to see the world go through even more pain on top of what Elgernon has done. Do you? This world is broken, Rook. Because of my mistakes. You're right. You do need to make up for the damage you've done. But breaking the world again is the wrong way to do it. Letting the veil collapse... ...is what you want. Making amends isn't about what you want. You have a chance right now to save the world. Bind yourself to the veil and stop it from falling. Cannot. To stop now would dishonor those I have wronged to come this far. Even if those you wronged asked you to stop? Inquisitor. You were my friend. We saved the world together once. Can't we save it one more time? Inquisitor, I am sorry. But I cannot. Long before we met, I failed my oldest friend. She died for that failure. If I leave the veil in place, I am destroying the world she wanted. And I will have... She will have died for nothing. And whose fault is that, Dreadwolf? Morrigan. One appellation among many, I wear. I have been advisor to Orle, Witch of the Wilds. Daughter of Flemeth. And once, long ago, an old friend. Mythal lives on in her, and in this. Mythal. I pulled you from the Fade you loved and sent you into war. I used your wisdom as a weapon, and it broke you. The things that I have done... ...are not for you alone to bear, my friend. The many wrongs we did, we did together. I release you from my service. You are free to find a better way. <laughs> My life.
my force now sustains the veil. With every breath I take, I will protect the innocent from my past failures. The Titan's dreams are mad from their imprisonment. I cannot kill the Blight, but I can help to soothe its anger. I will go and seek atonement. Thanks to you, I now can see the way. With Elgernon and Gilanane dead, and Solas off to fix his mistakes and right an ancient wrong, it looked like one of the biggest stories this world had ever seen was finally drawing to a close. The story of the Veil Guard, a team of heroes who stood strong against evil, no matter the cost. Whatever it takes. But whenever one story ends, another begins. Like the story of the Grey Wardens, clearing the remains of the Blight so that the flowers can grow again. Or the story of Arkandorian Parvus, fighting to bring Minrathus out from under Venatori rule. Or the story of a caretaker, standing watch for new heroes. For the Antivan Crows, it would be a story of liberation from invaders and usurpers alike, as Treviso threw off its shackles. Among the Veil Jumpers, the fall of the last elven gods meant Arlathan was reborn. At their heart, stories are about change. A man seeing his ward become more than he could ever have imagined. 
A woman protecting Docktown at all costs against an unknown future. An assassin and a demon setting aside the past for the sake of family. A student of history helping the elves put past evils behind them forever. A dragon hunter rediscovering their heritage from a place of strength. Or the Griffins, finding a new home in Arlathan, protecting a world that once thought them lost for good. Or the Dwarven people, rediscovering their lost magic and their connection to the stone. There are stories of love. But those stories aren't over. And we will always be grateful to those whose stories brought us where we are today. And those whose stories will live on with us forever. Balanced. <laughs>